Cuba to Kansas. Tonight, some people in the Sunflower State expressing extreme concerns about moving suspected terrorists almost 1,800 miles to their backyard. New at 10, 41 Action News reporter Brian Abel uncovered the personal reasons many are against the idea. Well, the town hall meeting here tonight in Leavenworth, a reaction to August 13th when the Department of Defense sent surveyors to assess whether the disciplinary barracks here at Fort Leavenworth could handle some of the more than 100 Guantanamo Bay detainees. And though the results of that survey are still unknown, the people of Leavenworth nearly in lockstep tonight saying, don't bring them here. Is that the president nor no other person has a right to endanger my family. A standing room only crowd, 300 strong, the majority against the idea of using Fort Leavenworth to house Gitmo prisoners. Immediately get federal uh, prisoner uh, rights to include communications rights. The post is just not designed to take this kind of threat. And believe me, if we put those Gitmo detainees here, they will come. They will do something. Many residents worry the prisoners could escape or that Leavenworth could become a haven for prison sympathizers. Governor Sam Brownback and local leaders agree. Leavenworth will become the rallying cry for the jihadists. We will become the target, not Guantanamo. Mastermind of the bombing of the USS Cole, the coordinator for the September 11, 2001 attacks. This mastermind of the September 2001 terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center. A few voices went against the crowd. I'm assuming we do not expect the prisoners that if they come here will break out. But 9-11 and the war that followed still on the minds of many, including a man whose son died while serving overseas. Five weeks before he died said, Dad, we fight these terrorists over here so you don't have to have them on American soil. <laughs> I was born and raised in New York. I worked in the Trade Center. September 11th, we didn't ask for it. We got it. The enemy got a vote. But if we bring these detainees here, we are asking for it on American soil. I lost my brother-in-law. He was one of the 343 firefighters that was killed in the World Trade Center, saving all those lives. So I don't want those Gitmo people here. Well, our thanks to Brian Abel reporting. This week, Pentagon officials visited a site in South Carolina to evaluate it for possibly moving the 116 Gitmo detainees. Lawmakers in that state are on the same page with Governor Sam Brownback. They do not like the idea and do not want the prisoners moving there. Instead, they want them to stay at Guantanamo Bay.